Hello guys, it is Gate of Theories here and we are back reviewing the Beaker Girls, this time episode 2. If you want to check out our last review of episode 1, there'll be a link down below in the description. But let's just get straight into this, but before we go any further, please make sure that you click that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time we review any brand new Beaker Girls episodes. So this episode to me just felt very quick. So quick I honestly thought it had just started when it had ended. So I'm gonna say that's a good thing as time flies when you're having fun. Unlike the first episode, Tracy was definitely the highlight of this episode and Danny Harmer did so well at playing a supportive mother but also the awkward friend and I think that's what this episode was really going for. It was the awkward and tense moments between the characters with it succeeding in areas and failing in others. Where it succeeded was between the adults. Maybe it was the acting was really strong, but the awkward and tense scenes between everyone was just done so well. The scene between Peter and Tracy in the beach hut where Peter is basically trying to say Tracy was his hero and hinting that he likes her was so well done and for me it was the highlight of the episode and I began feeling awkward just watching it which is a good thing as it's wanting you to sympathise with Peter. I think the new actor playing Peter is characterising him perfectly and I think the script is doing really well at writing exactly what I would think Peter would have grown up as, an awkward but intelligent person. And Tracy's reaction in this scene are hilarious and how she stops the awkward tension by mentioning Elaine the Pain is so perfectly timed and it's great to get that mention and Peter's reaction with Flo afterwards is just hilarious. The fight between Justine and Sean was fine as well and I just love how the camera on purposely shows Tracy's awkward reactions of just being in the middle or at the side of this argument and it's great to see Justine back. The car being painted and trashed seems a bit unrealistic even from Justine Littlewood but I'm just gonna look past it. And what I really love is what Jess calls Tracy and Justine's friendship. They're not friends, they're family. And it's so true. And I'm really glad this is the direction that the characters are going down, like how they did in My Mum Tracy Beaker, and that the two characters just didn't revert to just fighting each other whenever they see each other, and they didn't even fight at all in this episode. They might do later, but it was nice to not see that here, and clearly Justine is just having her mood swings because of her being pregnant, but we'll just have to wait and see whether that is the case. Where the awkward scenes don't work however for me at least was between the children. Tyrone and Jess I love seeing together but the almost kiss just isn't really for me and it isn't really awkward or tense it's just really cringy which I really don't like. Jordan, Tyrone and Jess are all fine in this episode but definitely aren't the ones who shine out instead it's the adults. However, the ending I really liked. It was a bit stupid for Jordan to just run out and get herself trapped by the sea, but that aside, I love how the episode showed how desperate and afraid she really is, that she's willing to run into the sea and swim away from Tracy, and I just love how Tracy's immediate reaction is to go after her, and how she kind of relates to Jordan purely because of her experience and care, and the mention of the movie when Tracy ran away is just epic. The episode didn't really have a cliffhanger this time, which is fine, not every episode needs to have one, but it's definitely making me excited to see what comes next, and I can't wait for next episode. But anyway guys, that is the end of this review, I hope you have enjoyed it, if you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let us know down below in the comments what you thought of the Beaker Girls episode 2, what were your favourite bits, and what did you not like, and as always, we've been here on Gate of Theories, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,